Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Feature on Cloud. This is the continuity of NSXT from scratch video series part 3. In today's video, I am going to start the deployment of vCent. Then we will move forward to the deployment of NSX Manager. Let's jump into it. So right now we are at step 3, deployment of NSX manager, but before that we have to install our vCenter server on our, our virtual in, in our virtual environment. So this is our high level design of our network. I am going to use the right side network topology. This is the physical connectivity which I have explained in my last videos. So for the vCenter deployment, I will use host 3 because host 3 and host 4 belong to my management cluster. All these settings has been applied. So let's look at the IP scheme. So my domain controller is configured with 10.100. Host 1, 2, 3 and 4 are configured with respective IP addresses. Now I am going to install the vCenter server. This will be the hostname of vCenter server and this will be the IP address. So let's jump into the lab. First of all, I would like to check the NS lookup of vCenter server. Just make sure a record should be added in the DNS for each. OC VC Future on Cloud vCenter will be the hostname of my vCenter server and as you can see the hostname is already at 10.215 so I am going to use 10.215 so I will install vCenter on host 3 I am going to log in on host 3 virtual host as you can see the VM is not here so let's start the deployment this is the ISO file of vCenter server appliance 7.0.2 see UI in install Initial visit for the installation of vCenter server. Let's click on install. Next, accept the license term. Next, the host name. IP address of my host. Of By the VM name, I will go with the TINI deployment because I am not going to add much host. So the TINI deployment. IP and I am going to use the same IP 10.215. And twenty four. This is my DNS. 
the summary the ip address would be 10.213 of my physical host this is the comment size is 10 division i am going to use on this data store h3 ds1 mean host 3 data store 1 this would be the ip address of my vcenter server and this is the name of my vcenter prefix line 24 this is the gate to just verify everything and click on finish so the installation will started and it will take couple of minutes i am going to pause the video and resume it back once it is completed